Pete the Cat and the Perfect Pizza Party. So we're going to continue talking about things that are important. Um, this time for today's assignment, you are going to be deciding what's important to have on a pizza and what's just interesting. And this is the book that's going to go with it because it's all about pizza and you know how much I love Pete the Cat. When we're done, you're going to need paper and some drawing utensils, whether you're going to have crayons or markers or whatever. But here we go with Pete the Cat and the Perfect Pizza Party by Kimberly and James Dean. Look at these pizzas. Eggs on a pizza, cupcakes on a pizza, watermelon on a pizza, a smelly sock on a pizza, pineapple on a pizza, ketchup on a pizza, blueberries on a pizza, sweet peas, peppers, grapes, strawberries, apples, fish, rocks on a pizza, mud on a pizza, onions, pepperoni, broccoli, olives, bacon, French, fr French fries on a pizza. That sounds delicious. Chocolate on a pizza. I don't know about some of these toppings. I'm looking forward to reading this book and see what's going to happen. Pizza Cat and the Perfect Pizza Party. Pizza Cat loves pizza. Pizza Cat loves parties, too. Pete had an idea of what he could do. He would have the perfect pizza party. You are invited to Pete's Pizza Party. Fun, games, bring your swimsuit, music. This sounds amazing. I want to go to this pizza party. Pete's friends all arrived. It was time to build the perfect pizza together. That would make the pizza even better. Pete thought the perfect pizza would be pepperoni with extra cheese. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pizza party. But everyone did not agree. They're playing pin the tail on the unicorn. Wait a second, so everybody did not agree it was a perfect pizza pepperoni party? Callie said pepperoni would be just fine, but I really love pretzels on mine. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Pretzels? Well, that's something new. Maybe pretzels could be groovy too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pretzel pizza party. Squirrel said, pepperoni and pretzels would be just fine, but I really love pistachios on mine. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Pistachios? Well, that's something new, but maybe pistachios could be groovy too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pretzel pistachio pizza party. This pizza is getting out of control. Grumpy Toad said, pepperoni, pretzels, and pistachios would be just fine. But I really love pickles on mine. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Pickles. Well, that's something new, but maybe pickles could be groovy too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle pizza party. Gus said pepperoni, pretzels, pistachios, and pickles would be just fine, but I really love popcorn on mine. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Popcorn. Well, that's something new, but maybe popcorn could be groovy too. It's a party. A party, a pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle, popcorn, pizza party. And they have a pizza party bus. That sounds awesome. Alligator said, pepperoni, pretzels, pistachios, pickles, and popcorn would be just fine, but I really love papaya on mine. Pete and the gang were really puzzled. Papaya. Well, that's something new, but maybe papaya could be groovy too. They have a bounce house. But, oh no. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pretzel, pistachio pickle, popcorn, papaya pizza party. It's a mouthful. Pete and the gang piled the pepperoni pretzels, pistachios, pickles, popcorn, and papaya on top. Ding! The pizza was done. The pizza was so high they had to stop. Trying something new might be fun, 
They all built up the courage to take the first bite. And the pepperoni pretzel, pistachio pickle, popcorn papaya pizza was out of sight. Dynamite. Just right. In the end, the perfect pizza is a pizza shared with friends. The end. So your job is to decide what would be the perfect pizza for you. You have to decide what is important. What does a pizza have to have to make it a pizza? There are a couple of things that if you're missing, you will not have a pizza. Think of the first thing might be a crust. That's super important. Then you're going to decide which things are important and which things are just interesting or extra. Here's my pizza I started. I left off the important stuff because I want you to think of important. On my perfect pizza, I decided I wanted mushrooms, artichoke hearts, and spinach. You don't have to have those to make it a pizza, but that's what I want on my pizza. And then I drew my pizza and I added all of my toppings. But I left off the important things. So it's up to you to determine what things are really important. What does it have to have to be a pizza? I can think of at least two things that you have to have. And then I want you to come up with some extra things. And this can be whatever kind of pizza you want. I look forward to seeing your pizzas, guys. Bye.